This video explains how to add the number of observations by group to a ggplot2 box plot using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create a data frame, as you can see in lines two to four of the code. So after running these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame called data is appearing. And we can have a look at this data frame by clicking on the data frame. And then you can see that a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data frame contains two columns called group and values. And the first column is a group indicator and the second column contains random numeric values. Now, if we want to draw our data using the ggplot2 package, we also need to install and load the package, as you can see in lines six and seven. I have installed the package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line seven of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package, such as ggplot and geomboxplot, as you can see in lines nine and 10. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new plot object is appearing, which is called ggp. And we can draw this plot to the bottom right of RStudio by running line 11 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a grouped box plot graphic, which contains four different box plots corresponding to the four different groups in our data set. Now let's assume that we want to add a text label to each of the boxes in this plot which represents the counts of each group. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 13 to 19 of the code. So in line 13, I'm first specifying the plot object that I have created before. And then I'm adding to this the annotate function. Within this function, I'm specifying that I want to annotate text labels. And then I'm using the aggregate function to count the observations in each of our groups and I'm adding these counts at the positions of our boxes using the length function. And then I'm also specifying that I want to show our labels in red and with a certain vertical adjustment. So if you run lines 13 to 19 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that our plot is updated because now each of the boxes contains a number which shows the number of observations in each group. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.